Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. So this is your love reading and it will be from now to the end of May 2021, uh, doing this for May 2021 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, I hope you are Libra. Let's pull your Oracle card and get straight into the reading. So what do we have for Libra please? Angel Spirits Guides in terms of love, romance, relationships. What is the message for our lovely Libra and thank you. In love, romance, relationships, thank you. May 2021. Thank you. So I have courage, facing challenge, facing fears, uh, connecting to your inner strength, inner courage, resilience, resoluteness. And it can be to face something, to overcome something with courage. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Libra, and then, as you know by now, we clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux here, and I will be clarifying with the Tarot of Dreams. Okay, so message for Libra, thank you. Message for our lovely Librans. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords, Challenge Position. Advice from Spirit, we have the Queen of Coins and we have the Ace of Wands, Libra. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Can we clarify the cards on the table? In love, romance, relationships for May 2021, please. Okay, so we have the King of Coins here, so definitely a relationship, King and Queen of Coins. Four of Swords. And the Ace of Wands is the Empress. Bottom of the deck, I've got another Ace of Wands. <laughs> so, you know, this is an exciting opportunity. If I was reading this in terms of money career affecting your relationship, Libra, it definitely feels like there's some exciting opportunity coming your way. And I'm just going to say that as a sign, because, you know, this is we can face our fears, face our challenges. The pentacles energy is all about what makes us solid, stable, secure in our tangible reality. So there's definitely this energy of of. You might have been hit with finances, you know, certainly for some of you, it feels in that way. Um, but it also feels that there has been an issue in relationship for others, though the cards remain the same. Because the, the Knight of Swords can be to do with communication that brings change. So conversations, communications here. And I'm definitely getting in this energy. It's from the King of Coins. Somebody, generally the King of Coins, card of Taurus, can be a male or female energy. This is somebody who is solid, stable, secure, reliable, uh, very successful, can be breadwinner energy. Like I said, male or female energy. Um, but it feels in this situation, there's a conversation happening here. There's a conversation. So, and I'm getting this conversation is leading, you know, the, the Queen of Pentacles is a, is a nurturing energy. Yes, she can be about providing financially for the things that matter most to you, but it, it can also be an energy of nurturing, healing. So healing, nurturing, recovering, getting your head around a situation. Uh, the Four of Swords is finding the mental clarity, re-strategizing, thinking something through. Um, taking a breather, you know, but it is a card of, it can be a card of just recovery. So it feels some kind of conversation or communication is happening here that you need to think deeply about and it, that it feels that there's some healing energy going on, uh, nurturing, healing. Now, pentacles, like I said, yes, this can be... Um, to do within the relationship it can be matters affecting your relationship so for example this could be health 
energies, uh, something to do with your health or the health of one of you that affects a relationship. Um, can be to do with money, career, finances, you know, that affects a relationship. So whatever resonates for you, Libra. However, this is definitely an energy of recovery, nurturing, healing something. And we have the exciting opportunity at the end, planting new seeds for future growth. And again, she's a very abundant energy. She's also a very nurturing energy as well, the Empress energy. So she's a card of not feeling lack. Um, we have the exciting new beginning here. So let's understand, let's clarify this Empress. That's you, Libra. So you are the Empress. Taking action. And it feels like opening some kind of new door. Now, yes, the Ace of Wands can be opportunity. It's very much connected to your heart and soul. That can be in terms of business, career opportunity. Like I said, if you've been hit financially. Um, Queen of Swords is somebody who is crystal clear in terms of thought. Uh, there's definitely an energy of she only takes action to what that which is going to bring her gain as well. You know, she is is she is uh, she has the strategy, the knowledge, the reason, the logic to understand how her actions are going to, you know, I impact her. So it feels definitely, you know, that there is some kind of balance coming back here by the actions that you're taking. But it feels in this situation. You know, the Empress is about creating, can be about creating a new path. She can be about embracing new possibilities. She can be to do with new love or maybe renewed love. Um, also to do with money and career elements as well. But she's a, she's a bountiful energy. So it feels like there's this new abundance or this new nurturing energy that's coming your way that is making you feel... Uh, complete once more and ready to take action towards this new path let's clarify this ace of wands what are these two ace of wands because it's 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 literally you know i am taking action this new path this new chapter is opening up for me and i'm doing it i caught the empress again <laughs> And I've got the, the chariot charging ahead towards it. It feels in this situation, Libra, you've been treading a difficult path. But there is winning, victory, accomplishment ahead. Hmm. It, I'm definitely getting this energy of some difficult news or some maybe a challenging conversation that's happening here. Um, that you need to think about and just take a breather on recover, get some kind of recovery, maybe heal. Um, and then there's definitely an energy of setting your sights on new abundance. You know, the chariot is somebody who is not interested in what's gone. They're interested in what's ahead. Eyes on the prize to, to victory, success, accomplishment. But it has been a, it's been a difficult path to tread. However, you are heading towards being that empress again, not lacking for anything. So it feels in this situation there's some kind of something that's connected to your heart and soul. You know, the Ace of Wands can be to do with, um, you know, it can be business opportunities or career opportunities, offers. It can be to do with um, if there is kind of like new abundance in terms of love, romance, relationship coming your way. There's something exciting, an exciting new beginning starting here. Or it could well be a renewed energy of that here. Um it feels like you've had some kind of challenge to overcome, but you have the opportunity to bring new growth, a new door to open into your life. Now, yeah, this can be, you know, the, the Ace of Wands, uh, like I said, heart and soul energy. So some of you is where your heart and soul is leading you. I'm going to put my energy towards this. I'm going to give this a go. Um, you know, I, I visited that state before and this is where I, where I want to move to. You know, there could be some element of moving here with a chariot. Um, it, it just feels in this situation you've been walking some kind of difficult path. 
but there is definitely an energy of recovery. Now, yes, like I said, could be money career, could be in health, could be between you as a relationship. But for some of you, there is victory. You will conquer it, it feels, this month. And there's a shiny, beautiful, fiery, exciting, new beginning waiting for you. It feels, you know, this can be a spark energy as well, getting the spark back. So let's pull one more for the Ace of Wands. Nope, didn't want to come out, so let's carry on. Let's pull another card for the Ace of Wands, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Five of Coins has a number of meanings. So it's where we feel lack. It's a card of insufficiency, feeling lack. It uh, can be to do with low self-worth, self-esteem. It can be about feeling out in the cold, rejected. So again, if there's been any challenges within a relationship, this can emanate that. Uh, also, in terms of financial loss, recovery, it feels for some of you that there could be some exciting opportunity coming your way. I mean, the cards are what they are, but obviously the pentacles energy, like I said, is to do with the pillars of what brings stability and security our way. So you can't always just read it in one specific energy. It is the cards are what they are, but the message may be different for other people. So take as you will, but it feels that there is an exciting new chapter coming your way. And I love the energy of the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Uh, th feeling that things are beyond your control, divine timing. Um, but good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, prosperity, opportunity, things opening up for you. This can also represent, you know, um, cycles that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings you know and we have an exciting new beginning opening up so it feels really beautiful libra the message is stay in your power stay courageous do what you do best and stay above the confusion and keep that logic that clarity that you have so well because that's how you're going to readdress the balance and bring balance back into your life um in whatever form this is whether it's to do with money and career health areas um, issues between you as a couple it definitely feels that there is some beautiful new chapter opening up for you and it's exciting and you know this has potential that promises growth and success yeah lovely energy Libra so I'm going to pull a final card final message for Libra please final message for Libra And abundance is an energy, it can be inner abundance where you don't feel lack, where you feel content once more, but it can also about, you know, it can have that material aspect too. So I've got a few cards here, but they've fallen out for a reason. We have Crane, Surrender, Let Go of Limiting Beliefs, Be as Expansive in Your Thoughts as Your Soul is, Lovely Energy. Fox, Shadow Work, There Are No Shadows Without Light. I, I feel that there has some shadow energy here. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it's going to last for too much longer. And we have monkey, inner child, don't take life too seriously. I love the butterfly energy. And I feel that's what you're doing. You're emerging from a difficult path. Uh, so butterfly, emerging, take that leap of faith. And it feels I'm going for this. Whatever this Ace of Wands is to you, you are going for it. It's where you want to take action. It's where you see the abundance. It's where you see your life unfolding. It's where you see your life, you know, uh, this new creation, you know, this new beginning energy. The embracing the new is very much linked to something to do with your heart and soul though, that's coming in. So very lovely energy here. Um, beautiful reading, Libra. Um, but it, it definitely feels like you've been walking some kind of difficult path, but you're going to conquer it this month. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.